It's time to play another Mariah Carey quiz. Hey kids, Treacle here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my good lamb friend. You know him, friend of the channel, Nath. Nath, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? I'm great, welcome back. Always happy to have you here on the channel. Wonderful to be here. <laughs> and you know why you're here. You are my sparring partner, head to head, lamb versus lamb. It is time to play another Mariah quiz. The first few quizzes have been quite popular. People have enjoyed playing along. We've got a new round of quizzes. <laughs> Today, we're going back to a format that we played and enjoyed before. Today's quiz is featuring rare photos from the Instagram account Mariah Carey Rares. They've given us permission to use their photos. Thank you so, so much. It's a wonderful account. If you guys haven't followed them already, check them out on Instagram, Mariah Carey Rares. Now, Nathan didn't make the quiz today, neither did I, because we want to play, we're going in blind. So someone else had to actually make it for us, and that person was Taz. You will know Taz. He's another friend of the channel. He features in his own Hey Lamb and part of my book club as well. So big thank you to Taz for making the quiz, and thank you you to Mariah Carey Reds for all of the amazing photos we're about to see. So I think this is how it will go. Um, we will be presented with a photo and we have to guess the year, just exactly the same as last time. But if you remember, it was quite tricky last time, but we'll see how we go. It was. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'm ever gonna be. Okay, let's do this. Photo number one. It's obviously a Japanese ad of some sort. I think it's pretty clear which era so I'm just gonna go with the dominant year of that era. You have an answer? I do. Okay, one, two, three. 1997, the year of the butterfly. Okay, let's have a look. The answer is 1997. Oh, we get the um, captions from the Mariah Carey Rares on Instagram. Mariah for a Japanese Aeon commercial. Is that how you say it? She's so beautiful. Do any Japanese lambs have more pictures or info on this shoot? Because yeah, that's a good point. And we're gonna say this so many times. I don't know if I recognize the photo. Like she looks butterfly, but do you recognize that? And is she wearing a wig? No, do you know what I think it is? Um, it looks like it was on a piece of paper and the piece of paper is bent. Like the bottom half of her face looks bigger and the top half of her head looks weird. It's like the paper's bent backwards slightly or something. That's a good shout. That is very, yeah. Like it's not, yeah, like it's like a magazine or it's like it's printed on like a box or, or something. It doesn't look flat. Okay, point to both of us. Right, photo number two. That's a really good face shot. Like I wish, I wish it was like closer up on her face. It's beautiful. I think she looks so beautiful this during the music box era. <laughs> well, my mind's already gone to the same, yeah, rough era. But I'm looking at like the um, jumpsuit, ski pants situation. I feel like I recognize them. In fact, I think we had this photo on the last one because we compared the ski trouser thing. If we had this one before, I don't remember it. Okay, uh, I've gone with my gut instinct. Right, ready? Okay, go. Yeah, I was torn Ooh. between the two because she looks 93. The only reason I put 94 is I'm trying to work out this, like she, she's either on holiday in 93 or she is working on her Christmas project. And I just thought the hair, it's just the hair. I don't know, the hair looked a bit more Christmassy to me. Who's the guy? That's what I wanna know. That's the thing though, like who are these people? That's why it, it maybe, I don't know, is it a personal situation or is it a work situation? If it's personal, I'd go with your answer because I think it looks more 93. If it's a work situation, then I think it's 94. I'm sure I remember her saying that she wrote All of Christmas Is You and the, footage from the music video is from it was shot the year before i'm sure I'm yeah you've said that before oh you could sure. be right shall we find out 1994 oh, okay. on the set for oh wow on the set of actual all i want does she wear that in the video okay i'm just gonna check these out watch it later on you know. okay um uh, point to me right okay next one whoa okay wow. three ghosts <laughs> this has got a disposable camera written all over it. <laughs> um, well, we know it's early. Okay, I'm gonna go with gonna go with my gut. Let's see. Ready? One, two, three. 
I guess, 91. Oh, oh okay, okay. It, for me, it was 90 or 91, just young, skinny, curly hair. She just baby-faced. My reasoning is it's on the street, taken on the street, big hair. I think her hair in 91 was more relaxed. Like, it was more flat. And denim, I think it could be, like on the set of There's Got To Be Away. I was gonna say, what was she wearing? Yeah, what was she wearing for that? So yeah, you could be right. Let's oh. see. Ready? Yeah. Yay. 1990, Mariah with fans in New York. No video shoot, nothing. Okay, point to you. Okay, next. Oh, that's a fun one. I, do I like this one because it's, it's really candid. Like you just get the sense of her walking down a corridor Someone yeah. just calls her name. It's just like really on the fly. Oh my gosh. I've got like a three year spread in my head. Oh, have you? I've gone for my, I've gone with my gut again. <laughs> Ready? Yep. 95. Oh. Yeah, I've gone with 95 too. I was, I could have gone four, five or six. Any of those years. Really? Well, I'm thinking 90, I went 94 no, maybe not, but possible. 96, coming out of Daydream, touring. It's definitely pre-Butterfly. So I was like, split the difference, 90, 95. It could be 95. Definitely like the Daydream era. But yeah. for some reason I thought in my head, oh, look to see if she's got her, her wedding ring on. And of course she had a wedding ring on then. <laughs> Major Daydream vibes. Okay, it's from 96. Oh. So yeah, tour. The whole backstage thing, that's, the, I oh, I wish I went with 96. That was my first reaction, was 96. Wow. In Japan. Nil pois. <laughs> Next up. So it's definitely post-marriage. I'm torn between two, two years. I want to say this is on set of a video. What makes you think that? The hair. It could be after a performance. That's what I'm thinking, like green rooms and backstage at TV studios, they can be pokey. Backstage of a concert can be pokey. I was thinking like, what is she doing work-wise? Cause it does look like she's got work, makeup, work hair. She's just changed into something casual before or after whatever she's yeah. you know, doing. Okay, I'm committed. Okay, ready? One, two, three. 98. I knew it was gonna go with eight. Yeah, I was 97 or 98. Facially, she's kind of reminded me of Sweetheart video. I don't think it's the Sweetheart video, but just... Could it be on the set of like Breakdown or uh, After Top of the Pops? Let's find out. I went 98, you went 97. <laughs> yeah. 97. She does So good. we don't know where it was filmed. No point for me, but point for you. Well done. Next one. Oh, okay. So we, I, you, it's straight away, you know which two years because you know the era, <laughs> but it's, now, it's when album, in that era. What album, is, what album era is this? I'd be like, bang. Yeah, right. yeah. Specifically, it comes down to which single she is promoting. And she's got her mumsy uh, blouse on. <laughs> you, you always say that Charm Bracelet is her mumsy era. Which isn't a bad thing. I think she looks amazing. I watched the high definition version of Through the Rain the day and I was like she's so beautiful I'm going with my f just instant gut reaction this time ready go 2002 yeah my, my, pe my pen's not great my pen's running out because as we know charm bracelet was released in December 2002 so my instant thing was oh 2003 that's the bulk of the charm bracelet era but I seem to remember press photos like her wearing this outfit she had it it's like the blue version of the purple top she wears in the through the rain video uh -huh. yeah. and i think she's promoting through the rain which puts it at the very end of 2002 is that how your mind worked yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i was going with the whole um her hair's really curly and i remember her hair in like 2003 to be mainly like straight or wavy not curly and this hair is giving me through the rain um, music video vibes. Okay, well, let's find out. <laughs> Both wrong. Oh, okay. I... <laughs> no points. Oh. Early, but how early? 
you, I mean, there's many clues that it's early, early, but her eyebrows, like early on, they were they were different. So very like 1990, they were quite bushy, weren't they? Yeah, this isn't this isn't as bushy as when she first came out. This this is groomed, but it's just the shape. Okay, can I put two answers? Nope, I've just gone with one. What are you gonna do? What 91? No, I've gone with one answer. Oh, okay. Reveal. Go. One. Three. 93. Well, look oh. at the ring on her finger. That's what that's what we were talking about, right? Ah, oh, shit. I was going with the necklace from the Love Takes Time music video. Oh, uh, so I didn't see that. I was looking at the ring. It's quite a big ring. I was like, oh, is it a Tommy ring? So that's why I went with 93. But facially, I was ready to put down 91, 92 max. See, I think 93, her hair was really, really relaxed so i put 93 you've put 90 what 91 91 oh <laughs> nate yeah. you're too good at this <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the music video it's because of the necklace that i thought because i i don't think she yeah well good attention to detail um so mariah Carey rez says this picture has been around for a while but not in this quality i never knew she wore a cap here and it's adorable all right another point for you Next photo. Oh, that's not Ooh. fair. Her hair's covered up. Didn't we have something very close to this last time? I felt like we've had a shot of her in a kitchen or like in the kitchen of a restaurant. I don't think, no, I don't know if she had the chef's hat on last time, but you're right. That's difficult. <laughs> the hair is such a clue that yeah. um, you rely on. Her eyes are certainly different in this photo. In, her eyebrows are definitely different in this. Yeah. But mostly what I'm taking from this is it's very um, natural. It's like minimum makeup. It's like she's just out with friends or whatever. It's like everyday makeup. It's not like work makeup. It's not camera makeup. I really don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm committed. Yeah? Yeah. What did you put? Nine, uh, 2007. <laughs> 99. <laughs> Just a little bit different this time. <laughs> oh. I've got I've got no freaking idea, I'll be honest with you. I've got no idea. It could be anywhere in the world. It just could be any restaurant, anywhere in the world that she likes to visit. Um, I was thinking Rainbow Tour, but then I should have put 2000. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> okay. The so you put 2007. It's because of the eyebrows. Well, let's find out. I'm 99, you're 2007. Yeah. I was the closest. I was the closest. Wow. Here's a rare picture of Mariah as a chef in Japan, Four Seasons Hotel, apparently. Wow. So I okay, I was in I was in the neighborhood. You was in the ballpark. I was in I was on another planet. <laughs> <laughs> but still I was close, but I didn't get it. So no points to either of us. Right, next. Oh. Oh, she looks really nice in that. She does, yeah. yeah. That's a beautiful like colour on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like she's made that guy's absolute dream come true by surprising him as his dream prom date. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with this because I vaguely remember that. As always, I'm probably really wrong. Oh, if you're taking a sip, I'll have a sip. Ready? One, two, three. 2000. I was thinking oh, okay. same. I was getting, yeah, rainbow vibes. I'm just getting major, major rainbow vibes. <laughs> Main, oh my God, I can't my words out. I'm getting major rainbow vibes. And what she's wearing kind of reminds me of the sorts of dresses she was wearing on tour. You're 99, I'm 2000. Again, with her hair, in 99, her hair was really straight, with the exception of the Heartbreaker video. And then 2000, it was more not straight. Okay, the answer is, yay, oh. 2000. First okay. annual NRJ Awards in Cannes, France. Point to me, which is good because I need to catch up a little bit. Next. Oh, bless her. She, <laughs> she looks really tired. Like, why are you taking this photo? Why? <laughs> like um, she's worked a really long day. She's had a hot shower and she just wants to cuddle with Trey and relax. That's Trey. I love Trey. He's like, Trey is definitely her ride or die. I'm struggling to get a read on this photo because you can't see any body or outfit. And yeah. the fact her hair is wet 
it's just hard. It, you, it's just face. I think it's after a music video. I'm, I'm done. Yeah? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. 2005. Yeah. I went with two because I thought, my first thought was 2005, yeah. We Belong Together video. And then my yeah. second thought was maybe the earrings look like the butterfly earrings that she was wearing in the Through the Rain video. You can't tell yeah. from this photo, but just the size of them roughly. It could I be was, nothing to do with the video shoot, of course, but what was your thinking? So I was thinking, don't forget about us, um, when she's in the swimming pool. And then there's a part in there when- But her like, hair was up, up there. Her hair was up in that, there's wasn't a, it? There's a, there's a shot when she comes up and she's like, she like flips it. Oh, okay. Let's find out. So I'm 2002, you're 2005. Five, yes. <laughs> Both wrong. So not a video, just a just a random moment of them together. Well, maybe she's just got off a jail or something, but maybe maybe she's just in the hotel and they just washed her hair. Anyway, both wrong, so nil poir. And the next one. I have two years in mind. Her hair's throwing me. I've like her, her lips look slightly overdrawn. She went through a period where her lips were like over painted. But I feel like I want to recognise the, the style of top she's wearing as she went through a phase of wearing them. And I don't know what to make of her hair. Not like it's bad. I mean, I, just, like, I don't know where, where to place it, which year. Are you waiting for me? Yep. All right. I went 2001, but I think oh. I'm wrong. I was either Glitter or Charm Bracelet era. She was wearing a lot of like those style of tank tops. Yeah. But her lips, her, her makeup looks more charm bracelet so i think i'm a bit out so you're 2003 yeah mainly uh, because of the glasses on her head oh yeah oh yeah and well done. she just looks very charm bracelet tall-esque oh well done <laughs> <laughs> another point for you next wow skinny legend <laughs> Just, I don't know it, but I've just got a gut reaction and I don't want to talk myself out of it. 97. Six, I was six or seven. Okay. I went okay. with six. Let's find out. I went with seven just because, Yay. oh, okay. okay. Arriving okay. at the MTV Video Music Awards, I just thought she looked a bit pre-Butterfly. Yeah, see the reason why I put 97 is because of the whole the amount of the twins that she's showing, the amount of skin she's showing. Yeah. See, if I'd overthought it, I might have gone down that route as well. Ah, something in me, something in me said 96 and I went with that. Okay. All right, on to the next one. Here we go. Ooh, two year spread straight away. How do I pick? How do I pick? How do I pick? Oh. Actually three year spread in my head. Yeah. I don't know. This is tough. One, two, three. 98. Same. I was 99. I just changed it to 98. So the reason why I thought 99 initially is because that looks like the top that she's wearing in the Against All Odds single cover. But then yeah. the hair was giving me butterfly vibes. So I was like, yeah. oh, maybe it's the like butterfly tool. So it's like she's going into the rainbow era. Yeah, I was straddling both the eras, same as you. Let's find out. Oh, uh, why did I change my mind? <laughs> why didn't I go with my initial one? Oh, <laughs> damn it. I could have caught you up. Okay, never mind. No points. Next one. Right, have the decade. Yep, I've got that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a bit of a haphazard guess. I'm going to go, I'll, I'll t if I'm right, I'll tell you why I'm right. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Ready? Yeah. 94. Oh, okay. I was, yeah, three or four. So the reason why I picked number three, uh, number three, 93, is because she wore a lot of denim and trainers. I'm worried I'm a bit late with 94. Let's see. No, I'm oh. on it. Yay. <laughs> the only reason I went with 94 
is because it looks like it's like a personal vacation. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it didn't like she's on tour or working. And I thought 93 into 94, big with Music Box. But then she was busy with Merry Christmas. I just felt like it, it was, early I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking it's like, I, I just thought it's after Music Box or late Music Box. Okay. Well, with that correct answer, we are now drawing. I have caught you up, which I'm really proud of because I'm always, always behind. <laughs> so let's see how the rest goes. Oh. Yeah, I feel like we should both know this. Ready? Go. 1991. 1991, because she's performing which song? Emotions. Emotions, yeah. Where was it? Terry Wogan. Doesn't say. Was it the Terry Wogan one? I thought that was the silver dress. Yes, it was. I need to remind myself, but I remember the updo and the pink dress. Was it Top of the Pops, where she was really um, hoarse? Is that the one? Well, point each. Next. <laughs> okay, major backstage vibes. Two-year spread. Yeah, I've gone with this one mainly because I think it's right. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm glad you went with that. Ready? I went with 96. Yeah, I was 95 or 96. Daydream era, uh, daydream tour vibes. Yeah, I just tried to pause and consider, could it be backstage at like a single, you know, performance? Could she be performing fantasy or something? You know, I don't know. But I went 96 thinking, same as you, daydream tour. Uh -huh. 95, both one year out. So it's classic daydream. She must be performing somewhere or a TV interview or something. Nil pois. Okay, next question. Whoa. <laughs> um, I I think we all have one. Well, okay, no, it's not true. I think it's fair to say I've got some photos. Or I had some photos similar to this where you feel a bit rude. You're like, you know, point, click, flash. <laughs> it, it, not the most flattering. She has the same problem as me. What, people shoving cameras in your face? No, she has no top lip. Well, she said in her memoir, didn't she, that she wish or she thought it, she could have had her lips done back in the day, but what's the point now? I want my lips done. Treat yourself. Have you got an answer? Yeah. I'm trying again with 96. <laughs> I don't even know why. It's just mid 90s. Got to pick something. Let's find out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Both close, but no. I was going to go with five, but... No points. Okay, next. Oh. Ooh. Gut instinct. Yeah, gut instinct. Can't base it on anything other than intuition. I've gone with... Are you ready? Yeah, 1993. Uh, yeah, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> just the hair, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, it's, it's the hair that does it for sure. Point each, both correct. Okay, next one. Wow. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to file that in my brain. Is this a pre-career moment? Because that is a very young face looking at no. me. No, I don't think it is. Maybe the updo is confusing me. It just looks really, she looks really young. I'm coming my gut. 92. 91. Let's see. Oh, oh. you're right. Screw whoever cropped this pick. <laughs> yeah, because who, who is she with? <laughs> Damn it, point to you, you're in the lead again. There's one more photo left, this is the last one. So I've got to get this right to at least draw. <laughs> That's the best I can hope for now is a draw. Here we go, final photo. Oh. Oh, damn it. You know it straight away and I've got a two year spread. <laughs> damn. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three. 98. 98. Yeah. Um, I feel like I should recognize the dress and the performance. I feel like I should be able to name where it is because I can I picture her. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a performance. I think it's 
a red carpet. He's a fan. I feel like I can picture her walking in this look. I think maybe you're right. It's more of a red carpet moment. Let's see. Both put 98. Answer is 98. No information on where the photo. I need to find this out though, because this is going to bother me. I really do recognize this look. So the final scores are seven, poor moi, and nine for you. You've beat me again, Nath. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> We both did pretty well. That was quite hard, but you didn't spank me as hard as last time. I kept up better, so I'm quite pleased with myself. I definitely think the photos ones are the hardest because song lyrics, yeah, they're like installed in us. But when it comes to um, like photos that are rare, that aren't photo shoot or anything, it's really, really hard. It is interesting because you can recognize moments in her career, you know, roughly where she is at in her life, but then you have to scour for clues in the hair the outfit the jewelry like we said the yeah. details to try and pin it down i really enjoy these rare photos quizzes they're really fun yeah and i love the account love the account yes mariah carey rares so thank you to mariah carey rares for providing the material they are a wonderful instagram account go and check them out and thank you to taz for making the quiz cheers thanks a lot taz we really enjoyed it nath yeah. always a pleasure thank you for joining me thank you for having me Always a pleasure to have you on True Tree Call. Remind the good people where they can find you online. I am Nath Moore everywhere. There you go. He is Nath Moore. Go and give him a like and a follow. Thank you once again to Mariah Carey Rares on Instagram for providing these wonderful photos. Go and give them a follow if you are not following them already. And also big thanks to Taz for making the quiz. Nathan and I really enjoyed playing. Thank you guys for watching. If you played along, let us know in the comments what you scored. I wanna see whether you scored the same as me, Nathan, whether you beat the both of us, let us know in the comments. I will see you in the next video. Cheers, thanks a lot.